Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. This is kind of an FAQ series that I'm going to be doing. And this one is on displays. And so I'm going to tell you what I'm going to talk about, so that way if, if you're not interested in what I'm going to talk about, you can move on. Um, I'm going to talk about what is 4K, what are the different ways you can use multiple monitors with flight simulation, how many monitors can you connect and still get good frame rate, can you use three 4K displays? And how do, they, how do the monitors plug into the computer? So let's start out. What is 4K? Well, first, before we talk about what 4K is, let's talk about what's the norm. Okay, the norm is something called 1080p. That's what you have typically in your living room. And that's the most you can get uh, resolution wise on broadcast television typically is 1080p even if you have a 4k TV so what 1080p is is it's 1920 pixels wide by 1080 pixels high so 1920 pixels wide by 1080 high now what is 4k well 4k is four times that. So a 4K TV, you could fit four 1080p displays as far as the pixels go on a 4K TV. So instead of this being 1920 wide, it's exactly double that. It's 3840. And as far as this being 1080 high, it's actually double that. It's 19 uh, no, excuse me, 2160, 2160. So you have double the vertical pixels, double the width pixels, and as you know, when you calculate the area of a triangle, you multiply the length times the width, or the length times the width, and that's how you get the area, and that's why it's four times the number of pixels even though it's twice the number of pixels this way and twice the number of pixels this way, still it's four times the number of pixels. Notice the four boxes here, kind of representing four 1080p's fitting inside of one 4K. And that kind of leads me into my next question. Can you connect, can you simulate using four or three 4K displays, typically be three 4K displays? The answer is no, there's too many pixels. Um, if, if one 4K display is like four 1080p's, so one 1080p equals, um, excuse me, one 4K equals um, four 1080's, then three 4K displays equals 12 1080s. So it's like you hooked up 12 1080p displays to your computer if you do three 4Ks. So that's one reason why. The other reason why is you just the connectors. Um, you, you have to have an HDMI 2.0 connector to do 4K at 60 hertz, and there's only one of those on most graphics cards. Or a DisplayPort connection, which there's plenty of those on the video cards, but most TVs don't have DisplayPort. So um, what you can do, though, is run those 4K TVs at 1080p if you want. So in short, no, you can't realistically simulate on three 4K displays on the same computer. Now if you want to use three 4Ks and you've got the money and you want to buy three computers, one for each display, and then you can connect them over the network, then yes you could and you could get good frame rates. And then the monitors stay in sync by talking to each other over the network and we know how to do all that stuff so you know if that's what you want to do we can do that but that's a whole lot of money for not a huge benefit. Uh, three 1080p's still look pretty good. Um, let's see, how many monitors can you connect to one PC and still get good frame rate? I'm talking 1080p now, we're not talking 4K. So, 
One way, of course, is just to use a single display, and you could get good frame rate, obviously. Another would be to add another one right below that that would have, like, your instruments on it. I'm drawing little instruments on here. Um, and a GPS, maybe. Um, so you'd have your instruments down here and your scenery up there. And then yet another way is to connect using NVIDIA Surround. Um, NVIDIA Surround kind of tricks the computer. Instead of the computer having to draw three individual displays, NVIDIA Surround says, no, 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 there's not three displays across here. There's only one really wide display, one, that is uh, 5760 by 1080 pixels wide. And it's a whole lot easier for the computer to do one really wide display than it is to do these as all individual displays. In fact, your frame rate pretty much gets unacceptable once you add this one in. So the, the, the NVIDIA Surround is good, but it has some limitations. Uh, one limitation is you can only get about 120 degrees of forward view. And of course, half of a circle is 180. So you're getting basically a third of a circle uh, here. And there's also some distortion when you get way out to the leading edges of these displays. There's a little bit of distortion. But this is how our quad screen system works. NVIDIA surround across here and then a, a, a secondary or fourth display down here for doing your instruments on. And this screen is rendered independent of this, these other ones. Now there's one other way, um, that's our 210 degree system. So what we do is we take basically three 50 inch monitors and we arrange them at perfect 90 degree angles or close to perfect. You can angle them out a little bit. And why 50 inches? Well, that's so that you can, you can fit in here. Because if you try to use like 30 inch monitors here and you have these at right angles, you're not gonna fit between them. You're gonna be all like this trying to fly. So 50 inches is really kind of the sweet spot for this. And these displays are rendered individually in X-Plane, or Prepared can do this too. The advantage of that is there is no distortion when you get out towards the edges. You also, as far as you can turn your head this direction and this direction and every direction around, all you see is scenery or the instrument panel. And you can get about 210 degrees of view without distortion. Now the disadvantage of this is it runs three X-Plane or X systems executables. In other words, it's running the program three times essentially. It's nothing you have to do. It's, it's built into X-Plane, but essentially it runs three executables here, three programs. And each program is controlling what's happening on each display. And so that takes a toll on frame rate. So that's why you'll find in our 210 degree system, it's really um, a beefy system, a, a, a real beefy system, because you need that to uh, do the 210 degrees. Let's see, um, how do the monitors plug in is kind of the last question. Uh, the video card typically has one HDMI, this can vary, but one HDMI, one DVI, and three display ports. Display ports are easily converted to something else. So typically, uh, most customers are hooking up the HDMI port to HDMI on the TV or monitor, and then they're converting display port to HDMI. And if you get a triple display system from us, we send you the cables to do that. If you don't get the monitors from us, we assume the monitor you're going to use has HDMI and send you the appropriate cables to DisplayPort to HDMI cables. So that's how they plug in. There's no special boxes, breakout boxes, or some other piece of hardware. Just they all plug into the graphics card is how uh, the uh, monitors all connect. And it can support up to four displays. Hopefully that helps answer some of the most common display questions.